My math party people, my math party people, we've made it. So we're here on system of equations word problems. And in the previous videos, remember, if you haven't done so, get back in there and get it done. But in the previous videos, we just got done going over how to solve systems with elimination and substitution. Now the question is, how do you actually set up a system of equations when it comes to word problems? So if you don't remember, we've already done lessons and we've done guided practice and worksheets on how to set equations up. When it comes to systems of equations, all you're doing is you're setting up two equations, not one. That's it. And because you've already gone through the practice, you're going to be able to solve these systems after you're done setting them up. So this is going to be one of four videos that I'm going to show you on systems. I'm going to first show you this type of question. Then I'm going to show you a second type, a third type, a fourth type, and maybe some challenge questions after that. All right. So if they're available, keep moving forward and keep watching them so you can learn. Let's start with this first type of question. I got your back, my party people. Again, we got three questions here in this video. So the sum of two numbers is 27. Their difference is one. What is the smaller number? All right. So my party people, here's what I'm going to do. When it comes to understanding that you're actually dealing with a system, which a big question is, how do you know you're dealing with a system? Well, you know that you're dealing with a system when you have two different kind of relationships being thrown your way with two different variables. So for example, the sum of two numbers, okay, so boom, you're already talking about two numbers. One relationship is that their sum is 27, so they add up to 27, and over here, their difference is one. So again, you have two variables, two things that are unknown, two numbers. When you add them, you get this, that's one relationship. When you subtract them, you get this, that's the second relationship. So that's how you know you have a system. You have two things that are unknown, and you have two relationships in the problem. That's how you know. So let's go ahead and set this problem up, my party people. Remember that we are looking for the smaller number. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that smaller number. So let's go ahead and say we have, you know, um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and say we have S as the smaller number and B as the bigger number, okay? So let's go ahead and write that here. S equals smaller number. And then we'll say that B is the bigger number. Again, all we're doing is just writing our variables out, writing those things that we don't know. And again, we're looking for the smaller number. So I'm going to highlight that to make sure that we stay focused on trying to solve for that smaller number. So with that said, here we go again. All you have to do is read it in English and then turn it into math. We've gone through these exercises on translating English into math. And if you haven't, please make sure to go into that section and practice. So here, the sum of two numbers is 27. So, hey, these are my two numbers. So what that tells me, my party people, let me highlight this in green. The sum of two numbers is 27. So what that tells me is that, hey, look, S plus B equals 27. Is that fair to say? The sum of two numbers is 27. You add the numbers, you get 27. Okay, sounds good. Now let's take a look at the second sentence. Over here, I'll do this in blue. Their difference is one. What does difference mean again? When you subtract them. And so what I'll write is, hey, when I take my bigger number and I subtract the smaller number, I get one. Again, you can't write S minus B. You have to write B minus S because again, B is the bigger number. B for bigger, S for smaller. So we need to understand that again, uh, we have to do B minus S in this case. So we have this going on. We're taking a look at this and we're saying, okay, We've got ourselves a system of equations. How do we solve this? How do we solve this? Well, here, from here, really, there's two ways to solve. You can try elimination and you can try substitution. Both will work. So allow me to go ahead and zoom in here. I'm going to zoom in to S plus B equals 27 and B minus S equals 1. And I'm going to remind you that we are looking for S, the smaller number. That's what we're looking for. So if you're checking this out, my party people, and you're saying, hey, um, if I just go ahead and move this over here and that over there, it looks like I can eliminate if I add the two equations together. And you're absolutely right. You can eliminate the S to get the B by itself to find the bigger number. Then you can plug that back in to go ahead and find the smaller number. That's one way to solve. The other way, what I would recommend, is actually using substitution. That way you can go ahead and get the smaller number right away. So. Here's strategy number one and strategy number two. Strategy number one will be elimination. And again, it's gonna be up to you 
in terms of which strategy you want to use. If you add the equations together, so I'll do B plus S equals 27, B minus S equals one. If you add these together, what's going to end up happening is, well, you have B plus B and that's going to be 2B. Over here, when you have the S minus S, that's going to cancel out. And then 27 plus one, that'll end up being 28. And then from there, you divide both sides by two. And that's going to end up giving you what? Well, it's going to give you B equals 14. But the answer will not be 14. The answer will be whatever 14 minus one is. So right here, notice that we have B, but we're looking for S. So I can take either one of these equations, plug in the B back in to get S. So I'll just take this one right over here. I'll take that one right over there. B minus S equals one, plug in the 14. And then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and subtract 14 from both sides, giving me right there, negative S equals negative 13, and then multiply both sides by negative one, and that'll give me S equals 13. And there it is. There will be my answer. The smaller number will be 13. And so I hope you see where I'm coming from when I say, hey, look, with elimination, that's what we can do. But let me show you how to do it with substitution instead. That way you can get the answer much, much faster. Because remember, when it comes to solving systems, if you know which variable you need to solve for, if it's not both, if you know which one specifically you need to solve for, then you want to use a strategy that's going to give you that one immediately. That way you don't waste time with the extra calculation. So with that, let's go ahead and do this problem again with a different strategy, again with substitution. So here, let me just grab this over here duplicate it over here. And here's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here, my party people, is I'm going to take this equation right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add S to both sides. If I add S to both sides, here's what happens, my party people. It eliminates here on the left and we get B, a bigger number, equals S plus one. So we have S plus one. And what I can do is I can plug in right over here. If this is B and B is the same as S plus one, that means that that B right there is S plus one. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more, but mainly in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons. You're gonna get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. And so once I do that, once I substitute, well then guess what happens my party people? If I substitute B equals S plus one, I'll end up getting S plus one right over here instead of B. And then I'll keep writing everything else as normal. So again, B plus S equals 27. B, which is again, S plus one equals 27. So right there, we can go ahead and knock down that parentheses super easy. Right there and right there. And so we have S plus S, which is two S plus one equals 27. Subtract one on both sides and we get 2s equals 26, divide both sides by two, and we end up getting s equals 13. Again, much faster than we did over here, where we had to do this, this, not really necessary, when all you did was substitute and solve a simple equation. And so again, the same answer still stays the same. It is 13 and we are good. So let's go ahead and go through two more questions here of the same type, and I wanna really, have you pause the video and try to set them up yourselves. I got you, my party people. So here, number two, we have the difference of two numbers is three and their sum is 25. What is the smaller number? So again, always identify what you're looking for. I want the smaller number. And so I'll just go ahead and say, you know, I'll use different variables here. I'll say X and I'll say Y. All right, so X is gonna be my smaller number. And then I'll let Y be the bigger number. Again, you can use whatever variables you want. 
You can use whatever variables you want. As long as you know what the variables mean and you're confident in knowing what they mean, you're good because then you won't get lost later on down the road. So with that, let's set this up. We see here that the difference of the two numbers is three. So what does that mean? Well, that means that if I subtract the smaller number from the bigger number, I'll get a difference of three. So what I can say right over here for this first statement, the difference is three, sounds great. I'll go ahead and say that my bigger number minus my smaller number equals three. Then I see that their sum is 25. Okay, so right over here, they add up to 25. So I can say that y plus x equals 25, just like that. And when I wanna find the smaller number, well, this one seems like a pretty straightforward one just like last time because if you add the equations together, you will eliminate the smaller number, leaving you to find the bigger number. Then you can use that to go ahead and just solve for the smaller number. If that's the fastest way for you, that's the fastest way for you, no problem. So I'll go ahead and do exactly that. I'll add these two equations together, nice and easy. Again, the x's are gonna eliminate because you have a negative x and a positive x. And so here we'll have two y equals 28. And so all I have to do now to both sides is divide both sides by two. Bam, y equals 14, but that's not the answer. This right here is the bigger number. Because again, remember y we said was the bigger number. We're looking for the smaller number. So if you look back at the clues or if you look back at the equations, either way it works just fine. Just plug y back in and find what x is. And so in that case, I can go ahead and take this equation right over here and I'll plug in the y is 14. 14 plus x equals 25. If I subtract 14 from both sides, I give myself x equals 11. And there is my answer. Just like that. My part of you, but look, at the end of the day, being able, really being able to look at these system of equations problems and just set them up the right way, that's gonna make all the difference in the world for you. So remember, practice the proper setup. The proper setup is everything. And this is the first of, again, of four plus videos that are gonna be coming out in the bootcamp course with those worksheets, with those speed drills. I got you, okay? Let's get this one last one in here, my part of people. Find the value of the smaller number if the sum of two numbers is 24 and the difference is two. All right, let's get into it. So to set this up, we see that again, we're looking for the smaller number. And so I'll just go ahead and say that we have A and B. I'll say that A is the smaller and B is the bigger. Okay, so the sum of them right here, the sum is 24. So I'll go ahead and say that if we add these numbers together, B plus A or A plus B doesn't really matter. The sum is 24 and the difference is two. So if you subtract them, you get two. So right over there, difference is two. So I'll do B minus A is two. And so again, I mean, sadly, we're not looking for the bigger number here. I would love to do an example where we're finding the bigger one, but either way, you know how to solve a system once you have it set up. So we have this set up and we're good to go. We'll go ahead and add these equations together to eliminate. And then we have B plus B, which is 2B. 24 plus 2 is 26. And then from here, divide both sides by 2, giving us B equals 13. But remember that B is the bigger number. We want the smaller number. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and say, hey, look, if their difference is 2, right over there, if their difference is 2, then if I subtract 2 from 13, I'll get 11, and that'll be my answer. Because again, they have to add up to 24. 13 plus what is 24? 11. So you can act, you know, you can take an honest look and you can really do it in your head if you'd like to. But if you want to set it up and do it the other way, sure. B plus A is 24. You plug in the 13 for B. Then you subtract the 13 on both sides. And you're good. A equals 11 all the way through. So with that set of math party, people look, at the end of the day, being able to set systems up is more important than solving them because if you set them up the wrong way, you're gonna get the wrong solution no matter what. So this is the first of many problems that you're gonna see for systems of equations. I'm gonna show you another type of problem coming up in the next video. I want you to pay attention to that one, the one after that, the one after that, and the one after that. And then practice those worksheets, practice the speed drills if you're in the course. And again, if you're not in the course, we'll make sure if you're watching this on YouTube or something, check the description of this video for my contact information and the link to join. And so, with that said, my math party people, you know I got your back. I'm Anderson, your math coach, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Let's keep improving. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.